welcome back. I decided to start drawing these lines, so this is what I did. I drew. Oh, well, that's. Uh, I drew the the water paths. We'll get back to those, and then I drew. It's kind of derpy. It's kind of derpy, like this. This is derpy. It's possible. Maybe I should have drawn it here. I see a circle there too. Like a shell shape there that maybe goes here. Maybe there's another ring that I didn't see. That goes to like here around this. Okay, doesn't matter. This is an approximation. The point is I'm trying to uh, convey what I'm seeing as best as I can. I see for sure lots of... It, this was a shallogram. It's just what exactly the boundaries are and the extent are. It's what I'm trying to find out. So I plotted this. My, so this is the Gan Kali Gandaki Gorge. Kali Gandaki Gorge. So if we go out here, this this here, I believe the whole thing is called the Kali Gandaki Gorge. So if we go kind of like this, go down, we can see like a dip. So water went through this entire width. So to kind of get an idea, that's to about here. Here's the Damador Kind. Here's the first thing that we just uh, put on the map. And then here's the boundary. So it's really not far over here. Around here, there's a cross current that's coming this way cutting through the Himalayas in a very straight line just through the Himalayas going that way okay so we this current's going that way and the, the thought I have is that therefore this current is going off of it this way. This current is going off of it. Also here, anything off of this is flowing away from it as like a under pressure and it's just bursting at the seams kind of thing where it's just going out, uh, relieving pressure periodically. <coughs> and so it flows in this way flows in this way, flows in this way. So we got a flow going this way. This is going to come into play as we keep going. Uh, presumably then continuing this way, like all the way over here and across. Where it goes across from here, across from here, and then over this way and then up into here to a degree like whatever is making it past is going up this way so it literally is going that way okay so we got that we got this this seems to be just pushing a boundary maybe this region is pushing a boundary all of this is pushing a boundary this one I put as that spray point where it comes in along what very much looks like a chakra structure and then runs up to this point where it goes into this and then goes up to this here where it's like a spray point. So my thought is that it is a spray point actually. Water's flowing up here and it's spraying across this point, anything that gets above past this ridge 
flows down over into here. And there's also flow coming from this way, but like there's a wall here. So any like what is carving this? What is carving it? Like my thought is what's carving it is this is not really stopping here. It's just going over this hill with this spray point also going the other ways. Anything that goes west of here, like generally going down here probably. But uh, goes over here and joins this river is my thought and it comes down here and then it comes to here and my th then uh, I'm like well what's happening it looks like it wraps around here so it, interestingly this is draining out this way and the Caligandaki is flowing this way so we'll come back to that um, let's, let's just finish putting these in here. Let's go ahead and put the title. So we got this spray point. We got this current flow with the lines there. So that's what's going on there, is we got that. Then we got a current coming from over here, also, that we talked about in the last few episodes, that's flowing generally from here. So the Kali Kandaki is this width. Then there's another inlet coming this way that essentially spreads out into this region and makes its way to this point, this like chakra point here that it sprays out of this way. Why would it do that? It's spraying out this way. Almost like it's under pressure from over here. So what I'm thinking, so let's go ahead and go down here. Or wrong spot here. This flow is coming out this way. This fl and going this way. This flow is going out this way and going this way. So there's a flow going along this way and what's really crazy is if we come down here and look up at this hill it's coming down and it goes this way but really clear as day what's up why it's got this node as if a current went across right here like why would it do that unless the current was that that high and when it reached down here, it, like, um, had pressure pushing it this way. Like another current coming up this way. So maybe a, maybe an upper current, like a lower current going down with a upper current coming off of here that's just at a higher elevation, really, that, like, ends up being above where they flow like generally physically space with one uh, relative to one another rather than just into one another <clears throat> so it goes this way though like clear as day this current comes down and goes both ways goes this way and this way and when it goes this way comes down here where this current is so my thought is this current comes down and like runs into this current going this way generally speaking so they start to like push out that way like it, it wobbles out this way But then let's keep going. 
This continues, though. Continues, 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 continues. And what's real interesting is if we, as we talked about, this current is flowing this way in a previous episode, maybe not in this one. It's flowing from over here, all the way over here, through these places, but then through over here, which works its way over to this portion. There's also like a boundary. It looks like there's an actual boundary or current. Maybe it's an outlet and an inlet. Like a current went up this way and then this way and then an inlet came this way. Maybe. Because over here, very oddly, they like run into each other, which happens when currents are flowing in opposition. So if this one, this one's clearly flowing this way. So if this one like wanted to, it should have been able to just connect and flow over here, but it really like literally runs into resistance. they're deflecting off each other here that is, that is very much currents in opposition okay so I would say part of me more precisely this current from up here is flowing over here but ultimately coming in this this location not not so much over here like the what's coming in here is holding this boundary from this current coming back this way and going over here and wrapping around going up here and pushing a boundary here wrapping around here holding this boundary going in here interacting with itself going this way going up in here holding this boundary <clears throat> going over here meanwhile this current though is coming in and going down this way through the width like through the channel bending this way branching off uh, just in the same way as the other one, the Kaligandaki River Gorge into Damodar Kun region, but it's just smaller here. Same thing. Like this one, that's just holding a boundary. Okay, just different scale. And then uh, comes down here so when it comes here it runs into this current going uphill and turbulence so it really etches this region in the turbulence I guess whoa Oh my god. Whoa. What? <laughs> it looks that looks like Let's keep going though, because essentially there is there's definitely a current coming this way that is interacting here and then spilling over these channels, spilling over the side and 
etching these little arcs. Spilling, spilling, etching larger arcs, medium arcs, and just etching this entire side by spilling over so it's running up this way. <clears throat> running up this way and this way. Interacting with this current, which then interacts again down here, I guess, and goes up that way. Maybe this current doesn't really make it that far, and just what it ends up contributing is mostly there, and maybe going over to there or something. flowing back, ultimately flowing back in, at most flowing out with the currents flowing out, because I, I think what's happening is it goes in and then ends up going around this, and then this way, along this, this direction of this side, <clears throat> because... If there's a flow going off, and there's a current going down here, when this structure runs into it, it bends in this direction, bends in that direction, bends in that direction maybe even, I don't know, <clears throat> bends in that direction suggestive a current is going that way but then over here current flowing down here is actually arcing this way although here it's not but here it is arcing in the opposite direction over here like if it's flowing this way into a current coming this way it's bending so I guess this is doing that. Except for this portion. Maybe this portion is protected by these flows that allowed it to extend to like some region and then it started to get influenced more. Similarly over here, I guess. <clears throat> Interestingly, this one looks like two of these. They're like all throughout. Maybe there's three there. Cool. So there's that going on where there's a current going this way, going this way, and then I guess... Like... Just think of what it does next. Maybe going... down and around? Like it definitely goes this way and up this way. So there's a current going this way. So it comes down, runs into it, and just bounces off it this way up this hill because it can't overpower the current coming this way so it just goes uphill with this wall of current coming the other way and it ramps up this structure probably like mounding it by the compression of it all goes this way, but then this current's going this way, so it runs into that again, bends this way, through this region, and comes around here, where then it bends again, and ends up going up and in. I'd say so. I'd say so. <laughs> okay. 
let's go check out this one. So I added this one. So before or after, maybe let's get rid of this. Maybe zoom in a little bit because I did make this pretty good quality. So we can kind of see, I think I circled generally around this to like that point and maybe like this over here, maybe here. Shallogram esque features. Okay. I don't know what I was circling here, but uh, let's let's take it off again. I guess it's there. It goes out generally around there, around it here maybe. I mean, there's probably a smaller one. Definitely shallogram like features. Um, maybe not drawn the best. Okay. And then with the rivers. So this current that splashes over runs into resistance at the boundary of this one, which I think is a pretty good boundary. Like up here. And then across that way. Or, sorry, here. This shape here, and then generally around here. Uh, after that, I kind of figured, well, they tend to have that little indentation, so maybe that. And then over here, it kind of fades. But we can maybe make it out there. And then maybe that indentation going around this way and back and then across and around. <clears throat> Even this what's splashing over here can falls down and contributes to this boundary. We can see all sorts of features that are shallogram esque. Okay, so there's that one. This here, out to a little bigger even somewhere. And then this, which may be a bigger one. I don't know. Let's just do this, okay. And then uh, last but not least, this one. Which has like the pointy, Things. I was thinking I should get some shallograms uh, attached to this as well. Like these. Has this structure. Even a little speck there. That one has an actual mark, maybe speck in this and that pointing to like what could become a mark. <clears throat> but if we zoom out, so here's the Try to, try to angle it appropriately. We can see a circle here. Circle here. Circle here. Also bigger, all sorts of features, but I just marked um, that are shallogram-like in terms of things. I guess that's what I marked there. I don't think I drew this one very quick. I mean, very slow. The yellow was first, so it got the most attention, then blue, and then... Uh, yeah. <laughs> then we got this circle that just goes like that. Uh, this one's also more subtle, so I just kind of was pointing to... A, like that there's these things these things whoa oh my 
my god, it's dendritic. Or are these hiking trails? I want to put it by. So, what is this? Is this a road? Is this a road or is this dendrites? Okay, it's roads. Oh my god, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That'd be so crazy if it had like dendrite structures across it. Okay. Where was I just looking? Down in here. Dendrites. Looks kind of like a horse or a unicorn. It's a unicorn! <laughs> Whoa. A unicorn with lightning. Okay, uh, I don't want to just stare at this now, but I thought that was really, this was exciting, and then when it occurred to me that these are probably being directed the way they bend by a eddy here that's flowing around and then into the nucleus. Up here, around here, in here. Possibly going, like, then spiraling upward to a higher level in the water where it can then, like, exit the system. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Like, it just does this and then lifts off. Lift off. Or maybe it ramps. <laughs> Over top all the currents. Nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe that, but... I feel like that's just more related to these in opposition. into resistance of current going that way. Interacts with it here. Oh my god. What? Look at those shallogram features. Oh my god, the whole... Ramps 
Um, I guess goes down through here in part and bends, going up, creating that kind of thing. Possibly even wrapping over as it bends around because of these things. Whereas here, that's not happening, where the current would be ramping over here, going this way, over here, running into this resistance, ultimately fanning out here. Turning, going around down here. running into resistance and just going up this way. Wow, though, a current, like making a beam. It's a literally making a beam. <clears throat> that may be legitimately shot. Who knows how far. That'd be so cool find its location. Where'd the beam go? Whoa. <laughs> Can I find it? There it is. I mean, this beam went this way. Certainly a beam of energy went through here. Through here, through here. Split here. Did that thing where it collided with itself here. Is this common? Like, how frequently are there features like that? What's that pointing at? It's pointing at it. Current coming from out this way that then goes across. I guess oh, it goes over here. Yeah, it definitely goes over here. It goes down around this way and out this way. So that cross stream here, this stream goes this way, jumps over here, goes down here goes across bends, goes across this way. But probably, I guess, holds this boundary more so. Wow, this current coming in this way also bends here. Some of which is caused to go back that way, I guess. To like bend around this corner and go back. Whoa. Go that way. This way. Cross here and into these two. And then have two currents coming out that are then going like this. Oh, 
This way. There's even this huge feature like there. Like this whole thing it looks like a shallow grab. Oh my god. Maybe even with like triple those point, pointed things, although it doesn't have triple there, maybe hard to say. Just looking over here, I don't see anything like this. Although, if there's this like basin, then that means maybe there's a jet going this way in a similar way. <clears throat> oh shit. Could that be part of it? There's like rock <clears throat> equivalents. In this in this case it happened with the water and then shot water that way. So it was like down, but maybe with the rock it does the same thing. Where it goes like doop, and then ends up creating all these currents, and then shooting like a beam. <clears throat> a beam of rock when it's under enough compaction that maybe happened over here. That then like shot a beam <clears throat> that met resistance, it shot another beam. Met resistance, shot another beam. Met resistance. <clears throat> Cause that's definitely going on with this. There's <clears throat> whether or not it's ramping, I mean maybe it's just going up. To a high enough level to then be able to go out to the, basically to the surface of the water. <clears throat> like not in the middle, it's going in, so it's not good there. At the bottom, it's good, but there's not that much. Like it's under a lot of pressure, so then it goes shoots to the top, and then it's able to just more freely move at the top. But it's still highly beams, so it goes over here. Maybe even produces waves down. Maybe it actually is a beam pointing like right at this point. Right there. The ramp seems to go to that side. Or that way. Ramp goes that way. <laughs> Maybe ramp goes that way to this one. And then the low current that's able to go back through, like, as we saw based on this, the high current's going here. So, the, like, the intermediary current uh, is flowing in west to east. The very base current at the bottom low is going below that current and going east to west, going draining into the uh, Kaligandaki Gorge, and it's doing so under high pressure, so it shoots like a beam over here, and with enough current that it comes in over here, producing 
two outlet streams from this region that are just beams and maybe even like have waves out like a There's definitely waves going on there. I guess this way over maybe it goes around here I like the portion in here one of them is this it <laughs> like is this the ones it's interesting let's follow this this one goes this way, over here. And then maybe... Runs into turbulence. Looks, looks like some turbulence happened, creating some kind of square pattern. From this current and this current, so it was like stuck there and creating a square pattern in that spot, but probably so that it could like get over into the other current flows because some of this current's flowing this way so i had to get over it into the current flowing more that way in a similar way above the pressure go atop it and it needed to like create ripples there to get up and over while it went this way over here into this into this region but also this region I guess there's still somewhat of a channel here between that and this so it's flowing there And possibly there was enough pressure even for it to shoot currents through. If this is a beam that's really going out of this and going all the way over here. Down to here, interacting here. Going this way, feeding into here, but ramping along this thing's boundary. Going up past it. And then getting out here where it ripples. And then drains down here finally. Some cool stuff this video I didn't expect. I don't I don't know what to make about that what I just said, the that current all the way out that far, but I wanna be surprised. It's kinda like a gamma ray burst or jet X ray jet. I'm not even sure the names of these terms at this point. Ah uh, shoot. One of the things out the pole, I <laughs> Okay, okay, that's a good point. Out the pole. So it's shooting out the pole by ramping off this way, going out the top and out the bottom. Inflow down the middle. 
outflow on the top and bottom. Although maybe in this region it becomes more divided at like actually closer to the boundary where there isn't so much like layers it's more just like if it's going out it's on this side if it's going in it's on this side it like moves to this side like flows over here go over here and then join this current and go up here like pass through uh flows over here go down this way and join this current or maybe hit resistance as they approach here and bend off probably a somewhat relatively neutral zone looks like even like a hexagon here with a nucleus Like the current just pretty much wanted to go up that way and then wanted to go up that way and then could bend enough where it wasn't etching as much and then it was just flowing this way still uphill up and out of this out of this eddy system here that it found itself in, up and out, over and over, because there's that much current. Look at this a little more. What happened here exactly? So we're thinking a current came in this way. This way, generally, I guess, uh, into here. <clears throat> Up, over, like deflected here somewhat, I guess. Split here, where it went around here. <clears throat> Almost looks like it turns on its side and starts etching, like slicing, much more so than it is as it's here, like as it turn as it turns the corner. I guess it's going on here too as it's turning this corner up high. And runs into here. Deposit stuff over here where the current flow is reduced, the velocity is reduced after all this etching. But it ends up just going back down and out this way. I guess that fits pretty well, as well as probably currents going out here and over, like across current going across this way that ends up managing to go out this way <clears throat> probably across there across here current going up here that joins that up this way that joins it over here as well as that goes past it goes down here
So I guess this current probably goes up this way and wraps around too. So it's probably both ways going on too. It's going up into here. Maybe deflecting around that way. Holding a boundary so these kind of go across still. Maybe. And this goes around, hits it. Goes that way, maybe. And at some point, it makes it past the resistance of the Kaligandaki Gorge by going through this way instead. Shallogram like there. Small one there, big one here. Chakras here, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I could look at this all day. There's so many of these features to think about if they're like squeezing currents. Like there's this big one, but then within it, there's this one, there's this one, there's this one. has snow on it. This does look like a something facing this way. Something facing this way. Similar to um, Western North America. Birds, wings, wingspan, maybe a dragon even, tail, jaw, long neck, kind of thin neck, it looks like it could be some kind of bird, but that doesn't look that bird-like. It looks like it's even eating the head of this creature. But then it continues to another head. That's consuming this head. <laughs> head here to this body. Okay, 
so Damador Coons is awesome. This is crazy. It's also rather center from here, over here, here, across. Whatever. Maybe across here. <laughs> like here, here, here. Or maybe they're like there. Down, over, this, over, over, that way, center. Definitely not an accident. Why exactly? I mean, it's the center of the Himalayas is the Kali Gandaki Gorge. Definitely not an accident. And then that has this off-center unit. Or I guess cross currents are just like propagating this way, maybe because this current is going this way. Like there's a west to east growth of the Himalayas. Formation of the Himalayas was west to east. So maybe there's a general west to east current that's especially making the Kaligandaki River drain like through right proper east propagating uh, offshoots. Where over here, these are due to jet streams that this produced. Okay, I gotta go to bed. See you guys soon. Peace out.